All right, YouTube, think Harrison will notice the mustache? How long will it take? I don't know. How about the haircut? I don't know. We'll find out. Harrison will be here until 829. It's 809 now, so we got 20 minutes to wait. I get the truck warmed up in the morning and everything. Check the fluid, check the lights, all that, top everything off. When he gets here, we'll see if he notices anything different. Or if he's just in that I'm not quite awake blaze. Okay, Harrison is making his way up the hill to the truck. He's very slow. In fact, it takes him longer than four minutes to get up here. He's technically late. I don't know. We'll see what happens. He is almost here. This is tedious and long. Did you notice something different? Yes. What? <laughs> Are you keeping it? No, I'm not keeping Why? it. Why? I just did it for you to see if you notice. I was recording it for you too. Are you actually? Yeah. You should keep that. <laughs> it's something that you should definitely it keep. It weighs like 60 pounds. Good. Start yeah. twisting it. It does. It twists right up. I had it twisted, but it didn't look as cool. I wish I had that. That way I can just play with it. You should keep that forever. Does mom know? No, I just did it. Oh, you need to show mom. You need to show mom. All right, so we're in Canton with one of the bigger Circle Ks. Harrison ran in and he found us some new items to try. What do you got, Harrison? A jalapeno cheeseburger and an egg roll in a box. Honestly, though, this says disregard by 426, 1037 p.m. Huh. It's 11.03. Well, we're going to eat the expired cheeseburger first. There you go. That's this says like. chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the wrapper says everything. One wrapper for all. Oh. Yeah, mine's it expired smells, as well. It smells jalapeno y. It does. That's all I can smell. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's gross already. Yeah. It's stuck to the, the wrapper. And I don't need mean M&M. It does have a lot of jalapenos. I can see oh, them. Let's see. You put some Fritos on this. It might be pretty good. It doesn't even look like hamburger, though. Nope. It's super soft. Very jalapeno-y. Actually, it's not bad. Not the worst. The bread sucks. I mean, my fingers are gross from it. I got grease running down my hand. They need to do something with these buns. These buns are ass. I don't know. It's not horrible. Because the jalapeno covers all the flavor. Yeah. It's just, if you like jalapenos, this is straight up jalapeno. Here, let me pull that off so they can see how many. Look at all them. Yeah. It's just straight up jalapeno. If your if your bun does this, it's not a good bun. It's not that's not a good one. Well, it was stuck to the wrapper. I mean, that's that's bad. Oh, these aren't bad yet. Oh, good. They these still have some time. Yeah, we got an hour on those. Huh? Boy, what do I give that? The five? Yeah, I was thinking of six. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid five gas station hamburger. Yeah. It's not the worst. No. I was going to get the Angus one. But. I mean, I could eat that again. Here we got a lean pork with carrots, celery, cabbage, and onions rolled in a traditional egg roll wrapper. 
it's right there on the label for you. And it comes in a nice little box like when you get your Easter candy. It makes it feel special. But it was a little longer than a regular egg roll. Now, I have to be honest, I love gas station egg rolls. I do too. And this yeah. is a good gas station egg roll. I'm a fan. I'm gonna buy one for a buck. Most people don't do gas station egg rolls. I love gas station egg rolls. It's and the longer they've been in there, normally the better they are. Yeah. I like them off the, the, the roller. Yeah. These taste like they were made in a, like an air fryer, one of the big pizza air fryer things. It's pretty good. I'm gonna give this an eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give this an eight too. Yeah. I mean, it's not an egg roll from a Chinese restaurant. Gas station egg rolls are very different. But they're also, I, I don't know, gas station egg rolls are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Especially like the Toronto ones or whatever. Tornados. Tornado ones, those ones are phenomenal. So, so a five on the jalapeno burger and an eight on the egg roll. Honestly. Yep. Yeah. Circle K, they really expanded their menu to some of the bigger ones. Uh, so if you go one of the little ones, they don't have but maybe the Tornados, maybe a hamburger or two. And they're always, those hamburgers are always nasty because yeah. they just set them in the cooler thing that has the heat lamp. That cooler thing. The little box that has the heat lamp. Here they got big giant things they put them in and they keep them a little bit warmer, I think, and they kind of move air around them. So. And more more people are in out here. Yeah, a lot more so people eating. So the, and they have a bigger variety. That's the key there. Yeah, you got a small one. That would have been expired for about nine hours. <laughs> it still would have been out there. Uh, so, all right, Circle K, uh, go to one of the bigger ones, better selection. And we can't forget that some of the Circle Ks have uh, brisket, barbecue brisket, oh, yeah. and the barbecue pork. We That's, haven't seen those for a while, but hopefully they get it back. usually does. Hopefully, you know, you can go in, you can find that, get yourself a fork, because it sucks to eat it with your hand. Ooh, just slurp it. That's what Maybe. we did. Oh, it's way more entertaining. Uh, We'll have, a, we'll have a link to that video in at the end of this one so you could see that for yourself. It was amusing. Huh. Honestly, next time we get egg rolls, you need to put like a little bit of food on the either side. On the of tips of the uh, opera sash? Yeah, one of these days we're going to see how much food you can get on here. Harris is going to grow one. We'll show it to you in about three oh. years. What? My beard grows quick. Does it? Hmm. Sorry, we were distracted by things outside. All right, that's all we have for you right now. Harrison, is your mullet tingling? I think so. So we're gonna stick with uh, Circle K. Um, maybe like this whole episode will be, at least half of it will be Circle K. We don't like sudden change. Speaking of sudden change, have you seen their uh, YouTube page? Who? Sudden change. No. Oh. You have it? Oh. They're a local band out of Canton, so you can book them for your summer parties. They play all kinds of... Are we plugging a band right now? We are. Sudden change. Does that mean... Do they watch the show? Yeah. Watch the channel? Yeah. All right, well, then they're going to definitely get booked. Are they? For a party. Yeah, I know of a party in D.C. In D.C., that might be a little out of their area. It's going to be a... It's <laughs> going to be a banger. Is it? All right, so it's Circle K today, Harrison went in. Are these out of date? Oh, no, we got at least an hour. What time oh, is it? 30 minutes. We got 30 minutes. Breakfast quesadilla. Whole egg, sausage, and two cheeses. Mm, that should be exciting. And battered tortilla. Well, they're pretty thin. They're crispy. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of crunch. I don't think it's not I don't have anything in mine. Yeah. Which is a lie because that's the ingredients. <laughs> the whole back of the page. The breading is tasty. Yeah. Mm. Super duper not good for you. I got some egg. Oh, now I'm into it. I'm in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty oh, good. Yeah. A little spicy.
Uh, 5.75. I'm gonna give mine like a, almost a seven. Really? Yeah. It's not bad at all. Like, I could do this again. Okay. I mean, there's not a lot to it, but it's pretty good. Yeah. You gotta lean this way. Harrison doesn't know how video works. He's at a seven. I'm gonna stick with my 5.75. They are spicy though. If you like spicy stuff, no, not not like it's gonna catch your mouth on fire, but it's it's warm. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What else you get? Spicy buffalo style chicken. I think we've done these before, haven't we? Yeah, we did. There's nothing really else in there. From Circle K again. One of the bunch. bigger ones. We've been doing a lot of work in the Canton area this week. We have a lot of these things in there. Can Maslin. A lot of like egg rolls and stuff like that. We love their egg rolls. Guess it. Oh, this actually looks pretty good. Not like the last time. Why do they use the same bun though? It's that brioche bun. Because you like brioche. Suck. You like to say the word brioche. Lots of sauce. I got it all over me. Mm. Mm. Well, it's not like Nashville hot. It's it's definitely like buffalo. Yeah. It's kind of dry. It's dry. It's not very good. That was definitely better. This I'd give a 5.75. See, I'm going to give this a 4. Cool. Too much sauce, which should help with the dry bun, but it's just soupy. Cool. Makes the chicken all dry, uh, floppy. It's chewy. Honestly, if you just turn the bun around, it's more wet. Oh. Oh yeah, it's wet. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Low key, yeah. Not very good. Would I do this one again? No. No. Not as good as the uh, jalapeno cheeseburger. <laughs> This is hard to eat. This is hard to eat. Uh huh. Oh my god. I would throw it out the window if we were on filming. Oh, well, well, yeah. oh, got one bite to go. I'm struggling. And it's got a little heat to it, too. A little bit more than the other, the quesadilla, but not much. Gonna wash that down with a little unsweetened. Pure life. Yeah, this is rough. And it's dry and wet at the same time. It is dry and wet at the same time. The most of the bun was very dry, but the center section was slimy and wet. Uh, that's what she said. Oh my god. This is a family show. I'd get these again, though. I'd get the quesadilla again in a pinch. I would probably go for something else, like an egg roll or something. But in a pinch, definitely I'd do that again. Yeah. All right. We're going to try to hit Circle K up one more time today. And that way we have a full episode of Circle K. Which is something we've never done before. Well, I'm surprised we're getting something new. Those are new. Yeah. I don't think you can order things online at Circle K. I don't think it's that kind of establishment. Oh, but they get these somewhere. Well, you could probably order those online, but they're not going to be the ones it. at Circle K. That's not what you said. Mm -hmm. That's not what you implied. You implied that you go into, you could like pull up an app and order what you wanted from Circle K. No. They like, get bulk orders of these things. Yes. Not even I'm these sure things. You can. Like, I know you can things. get uh, uh, Tornados. Because they're probably just getting whatever's popular. So they probably have a bunch of stuff on the website. Let's figure that out. So now we have Harrison has to do some research and see Me. where they're getting their quesadillas. There's not even any name on this. Well, no, they're packaged for Circle K, I'm sure. 
I mean, this is the only thing that's gonna serve Gatlin. Uh, they have a uh, mix and match ones. Yeah, that's what that. Is. Yeah. Well, he is right. It doesn't say where it came from. I think what he thinks. Probably it's China. Oh, there you go. Probably. All right, we'll be back. All right, our last uh, item from Circle K is uh, beef sticks. CNC Cattleman's Cut. Mine are double smoked. Harrison, who's already tearing into his, you gonna show him what it looks like? Takis. Taki flavored beef sticks. I don't know about that. Double hardwood smoke right here. Not bad at all. Why would it be bad? I don't even be spicy, not spicy. The last one. I love the double smoke. That's, that's, that's where it's at. Man, that's cold. Oh, that is pretty good, too. Okay. Calvin's cut uh, is a little bit better than, like, you know, your Slim Jim or... Yeah. What's that other one with the Sasquatch? Zach Link. Hey, beef sticks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they make beef sticks? Are you kidding? Ow. Yeah. Mm, the Taki one is pretty good. I don't understand. The uh, double smoke's tougher. Yeah. A little bit drier. It's a squishy. Mm hmm. Vinegary. I'm going to go with that. 8.25 on the double smoke and an 8 on the Taki. Uh -huh. These ones are just a little better. I think I'm playing these ones. All right. Those ones taste probably better, but I think they're soft. You like things soft and floppy in your mouth? He's going to eat that, too. It landed on his pants. I'll have poop in my pants today. Anybody else will see that? He just double fisted that right in his mouth. Huh? What? You don't spray it at all. Uh oh. You'd think with talking on there, they would have a little heat. I mean, you could taste the pepper. The but it's not hot. Nope. Oh my God. All right, everybody. Like, subscribe, share, and we will see you next week.